Now it's time for us to jump into our first experience with Microsoft Excel. So let's open up Excel and we're going to start to create our very first spreadsheet. So you can see it's similar to Word and we're going to go with blank workbook. So remember our file itself here is going to be called a or referred to as a workbook. These over here at the bottom, and you'll see if I click on the plus, these are the individual sheets within my workbook. So my workbook file in Excel can actually have multiple sheets. On the left hand side, you will see all the numbers of the various rows running from one to whatever. <laughs> and then on the top, the names of my columns running from the letter A all the way through. So this is indicating the columns that I'm in and this is indicating the rows this is why when i click on a particular cell you can actually see here if i click on this cell what's highlighted b and two this is what's known as a cell reference this shows that i am in column b and cell number two within that particular column and you can see it up here in the name box if i look at um, just the layout you can see this is very similar to what we had in Microsoft Word. So very familiar. Well, let's go and enter some data. So when I click on a cell, I can move around through the different cells with my arrow keys. I can hit enter when I finish typing something as well. So let's go and enter some information. And I'm going to uh, start here and I'm going to type in the word English. Enter. enter and you can see what it does let's now pop in some headings and again I'm just going to adjust my cells to make sure that everything fits in I'll show you shortcuts of how to do this later now if I need to replace data for example this mark over here I can simply click on it and just enter the new mark and now like we've done in word before let's just apply some general formatting so these are headings and I'm just going to highlight this and just adjust that so there are my headings and you can see I've got the same font category I'm gonna make this bold italic underline I'm going to uh, choose a full color I'm gonna choose a font color I'm gonna change the font size again and we're just gonna adjust that and then the nice thing here with Excel now is I can actually add borders. So I'm just going to go to my font category again and just say all borders. And there you can see that's just an example of me entering my first bit of data into Excel.